Alright, so I got a battle with Owner Guy here. And I lead with my Ampharos, and he leads with his Zong. And Ampharos for Zong is a, equals a free sub for me, because Dire Ball can't break the sub, Stealth Rock doesn't hurt the sub, Hypnosis gets absorbed by the sub, and he could explode, but that wouldn't make too much sense. So, I get my free sub, and like it just says, never waste a good sub, so I'm going to go for Hidden Power Ice here, just to get some damage on it. And it does a healthy chunk of damage, not enough to 2HKO, but that's alright. I'm going to have to switch out. And this team is pretty much all my favorite Pokemon. Not stats-wise, but like looks-wise. So I go to my Milotic here, and I go for a Hypnosis, because so I need to put, I'm need. i trying to put something to sleep. Whether it's this guy, or whether he wants to switch, I want something to be put to sleep. So... He thinks a while here, and he just ends up exploding. And my little tick is BL, it doesn't really make too much sense, because even though it gets outclassed by Vaporeon, and Vaporeon has Wish, my little tick can still hold its own in the OU metagame. In the BL, it's, it's going to be a force. I don't play much BL, but I know it's going to be a force. And I predict the fighting move here, and he goes for a T-Punch. And most don't even have T-Punch. Most have Stone Edge. And I doubt he was going to go for a Stone Edge on my Melotic. And, I uh, whatever. T-Punches T again, I go down. At the, and this is my Machamp that's brave with no Speed IVs. And I grabbed him by accident, so I was thinking Speed Tie, and I can get a Dynamic Punch off on him. But I lose the Speed Tie, so... I'm pretty scared about this Machamp. It's gonna, it hurt. My, it's gonna hurt my team. And I bring in my Scizor, and I'm thinking he's gonna switch because he got the minus one defense drop. And I doubt he wants Machamp gone that early, so I go for a Swords Dance. And I get one Swords Dance up, and I go for a Bullet Punch here because I'm thinking he could Will O Wisp, but if he does, I could go to my Low Tick. So I, I over predict a little bit and I go for the bullet punch thinking he's going to do something else besides Will-O-Wisp and I was right. And I'm thinking he's going to switch to something else so I sword dance again. And good thing I didn't bullet punch again since it wouldn't have done anything to Bong Zong. And now i got a plus four priority move raping scissor that's just going to tear apart his team. So even though my start was meh. It wasn't really my fault that I lost Gengar, I think. It, yeah, it wasn't really my fault, because I'm not used to seeing T-Punch folks. Uh, T-Punch Machamp. I'm used to seeing Stone Edge, and I was predicting a fighting move, and I was trying to make the twist, the trick room go away, so... I don't know. I don't think it was my fault, but it was still a bad start for me. And with two predictions, the two Sword Dance predictions, that pretty much sealed the deal for me. And, like, see how that Machamp... I wasn't, I didn't even think it packed T-Punch, and it raped me. Like, more people should, I think I'm going to start doing it. Like, instead of using a mix ape, use a CB ape. You're going to catch a lot of people off guard, trust me. You'll catch a lot of people off guard. Because if they're predicting a flamethrower and you flare blitz, they're probably going to bring in more of a special defense, bulkier poke, and... Whatever, you know, you get the idea. Like, as an example, I, this guy had a look out, and I went right to my mints, and he ended up being specs, and he's psychic, and then he 2 KO'd me. Caught me off guard, lost the mints for nothing. So, I'm going to start putting smog and stuff to the side, and trying to make more creative stuff. I'm going to be catching people off guard, and maybe it'll work out. It will work out. <laughs> So good game owner guy and uh, see you later.